So, hey Luciano, I hope that you're doing well, and I was honestly kind of curious about something. I, as a big time YouTuber, have only ever really done video, and it's a lot of fun videos definitely where I feel like I belong more, and I know that lots of people really like my videos, but you are an odd creative because not only do you make videos, you also write. And even within writing, you've written in just about every single genre. So can you tell me a little bit about how you got started writing and, if possible, what writing is like for you? Hey, big time. It's good to hear from you again. Well, for me, writing was a huge creative outlet. And it meant a lot to me, because as a child, I spent a lot of time on military bases. My dad is still in the army, and my mom was a service person, but she left when I was born. And I was raised in North, South, and Central America. And when I was younger, writing was one of the only things that I could do that I was able to keep with me super easily, and that I was able to do no matter what country I was in. So I very quickly became obsessed with writing. And some of the first places that I remember writing in were in Colombia. In Colombia, I started writing in little journals. I started writing stories that amount to fan fiction. And very, very creative fan fiction at that. And for me, that was a creative expression that I liked doing. It was something that made me feel nice. And it was something that enabled me to spend a lot of time just doing that and not really focusing on anything else. Those stories were very amateurish, but it was still very fun for me to write them. As I got older, I started writing about a wide variety of different things, and there was a long time in my life when the thing that I wanted to do when I grew up was be a novelist. And now that passion is starting to come back, I'm starting to write fiction a lot more regularly, specifically urban fantasy and high fantasy, a lot more than I did when I was younger. And that's something that makes me feel very excited. It's something that I can do, that I can enjoy, where I don't have to sit down in front of a camera and get nervous and possibly make mistakes, or record myself saying the same thing over and over again into a microphone, hoping that I don't mess up, especially because as an editor, especially as a video and audio editor, I am not that skilled, obviously. That sounds awesome, Luciano. So I want to know a little bit more about your fantasy writing. I really like fantasy as a genre, and urban and high fantasy are two of my favorite, let's say, subgenres within that genre. And I'm hoping to get to know more authors and to get to learn a little bit more about the genre itself. I am hugely inspired by mythology. And by mythology, I don't just mean the Greek gods and their escapades and the Japanese gods and the monsters that come from Japan. I mean things like gods, monsters, and spirits from Latin America and gods, monsters, and spirits from the stories of Native Americans. These are some of the things that greatly inspire me and that motivate me to write. Because in a lot of cases, I think that some of the greatest stories that people will ever hear and that humanity has ever or will ever tell people have come from a long time ago. An example of this could be the Mayan hero twins, the story of how the Mayans got the sun and the moon and how two twins overcame death. And that's an incredible story. And it's a story that not a lot of people are familiar with, which is a real shame, because people know a lot about the Twelve Deeds of Hercules, and people know a lot about Zeus's romantic adventures. And I think that those are fantastic stories, but I think that lots of other stories that exist in mythology definitely deserve greater attention. And I'm hoping that with my writing, I can get people interested in at least the characters of these stories. And I include some of them in stories that I've written and in stories that I'm going to be writing. And I think it's important that we acknowledge that some of the greatest inspiration for characters and story arcs in fantasy come from mythology. That sounds awesome, and I'm really looking forward to being able to learn more about mythology from Latin America when you bring your Mythology Monday series back. I know that you're going to, so I'm not really worried about it. And I would also like to know, where can I find some of your fictional writing? Maybe some of the stuff that I haven't yet read. Oh, big time, you know me so well. 
Well, if you really like my fictional writing, the best place to go is Railroad L, where I publish stories and chapters just about weekly. And if you like just my style in general, and if you want to see examples of me writing that aren't fiction, then you should probably go check out my Twitter, Luciana Writes. It's where I tweet angrily about the news, about events from Latin America, and also share the works of lots of my friends, especially people on YouTube. If you enjoy the sorts of things that I make, those are the two best places to go and find me, especially if you want to go and chat with me, because I read every single comment, and I also check out the profile of every single person who follows me. And if a person follows me and I really like their stuff, I'm absolutely going to follow them back and engage with them in conversation, at the very least through tweets and through mentions. So yeah.